Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at unit 5.2, equations of straight lines. Now, to be able to state or define an equation of a straight line, we either need one point and the gradient, or we need two different points on that line. And we often use x1 and y1 for the first coordinate, x2 and y2 for a second coordinate and m will be the gradient as I'll show you now and the gradient is difference in y divided by the difference in x and then this can be rearranged to give us y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 which is an equation that we use a lot and you can see it's the same as this one rearranged where what we've done is we've taken out one of the set's coordinates as in the y and the x is what we wouldn't know. This equation comes from the same thing as this, but we have y minus y1, x minus x1, as these would be ones that we don't know yet. So we have two options and what to do here. So first we know we've got a gradient of 3, and we're going through the point 5, 2. Now, our first option is to use this formula. This is my preferred method. And all I need to do is substitute my values in. So y1 will be two in this case, the gradient is three, and x1 is five. And then expand and rearrange or simplify, and we're done. easy enough okay you can obviously use y equals mx plus c as you would have done during your GCSE or IGCSE years here you first need to find out what c is so we know that m is 3 and then we know that the coordinates 5 2 work so 2 equals 3 lots of 5 plus c 2 equals 15 plus c, so c is negative 13, therefore y equals 3x minus 13. So we can use y equals mx plus c, but from this point onwards, I do believe that this one is the best option. Okay, it does make your life a little bit easier when we're starting to deal with fractional uh, gradients and things as well in my opinion okay second example gives us two coordinates so we've again we've got two options here or three I suppose in total but let's look at these two options so find the gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay that is my formula difference in y values divided by difference in x values. It doesn't matter which set of coordinates is 1 and which set of coordinates is 2, um, as long as you make sure you're consistent. Okay, so I'm going to use the 4, 7 as 2 here. So y is 7, and you can see the 4 is underneath it. And then y1 is 3, and x1 is 2. So 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, so I've got a gradient of 2. Then I can substitute this into my y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So y minus, now I can use any of my coordinates. This time I'm going to use the first coordinate, but it doesn't matter which one I use. So we've got y minus 3 equals 2x minus 4. So my final answer here is y equals 2x minus 1. Now I said there's another method, although this isn't a method that I generally prefer to use. So we've got y minus y1 over y2 minus y1. x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 where one and two again are my two coordinates. So y minus, and I'll use the same coordinates in terms of one and two, 
So my two three is my one. Seven minus three x minus two over four minus two. So this gives me y minus three over four x minus two over two. Multiply it by four. And you can see I'm back to a very similar place as I was with the last method. Okay, now what this particular method does, it just combines the gradient within this formula and rearranged. Okay, but personally, I don't like to use it. I prefer to find the gradient and then y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 that would be my preferred method final example i'm just going to do this the one way so the gradient difference in y's so 2 minus 4 difference in x's 3 minus minus 1 so minus 2 on the top 4 on the bottom so we've got a gradient of minus a half y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. I always recommend writing down the formula because the more times you write it down, the more you learn it. And it won't be long until you know this inside out. So substituting my values in, you can see that I do have this fraction which is a little bit annoying. What I like to do is multiply by the denominator of that so the 2 so I'm going to multiply everything by 2 so 2y two minus 4 equals minus 1 x minus 3 so we have 2y minus 4 equals minus x plus 3 and I'm going to take everything to one side x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0 and this is the form I like to have it in if I've got a fractional gradient so it's the form of ax plus by plus c equals zero. So you use this form generally if gradient is a fraction. Okay. Now, if you've enjoyed the video so far and found it useful, please hit a like. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I'll give you some to try yourself.